I've painted well over a thousand door frames and I'll show you how to paint one in three simple steps. Ready go! Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vazer here with Practical Painting. We are professional painters here to help you with your various painting endeavors. In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint a door frame in three easy steps. Uh, we're gonna paint the one that's right behind me. Uh, before we get into kind of all our prep work and everything, let's take a look at the supplies you will need uh, to accomplish this task. All right, here are your basic supplies for this project. You've got a caulk gun with some caulk in it, a screwdriver, some sandpaper, some wood putty, uh, frog tape, that's just uh, inch and a half frog tape. We've got our uh, actual paint, which is Duration Semi-Gloss, and I already have it made up in an edging container with a two and a half inch Corona Cortez brush, uh, and then some paper towels just in case you need them. That's it. Now that we've got our supplies, we're gonna go ahead and do all of our prep on the frame. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take off the strike plate. And depending on the type of strike plate, yours might look a little bit different than this one. This one has two screws that hold it in, uh, kind of at an angle. And removing these just kind of makes our job a little bit easier when we go to paint the frame. All right, the, the next thing I'm going to do, actually I'll probably just do a quick wipe down. Uh, this is actually pretty clean already, um, but sometimes these are pretty dusty. So you just use your rag, give it a quick, quick wipe. You've kind of already preliminarily done this, but particularly around the hinges it can be kind of gross. Um, a lot of times I don't particularly do what I'm about to show you guys, which is tape out the hinges. Um, but because of where they're situated, this can be kind of tricky. So I'll show you how to tape those out. This is just inch and a half yellow frog tape. And what I like doing is running the edge right up against there. And it, it's nice about the inch and a half is it pretty much covers the whole thing. All right. So now that I've got those taped out, I'm just going to come in with my knife and, and just cut right where it hits the top of the, the hinge there. And if you've already painted the door or you are painting the door, you might have taped out the hinges on the other side. And then I would just, in which case I would just leave them taped until you're done doing the frame too. A lot of times we do the frame and the, the door at the same time. Now that we've got that taped out, uh, what we're going to do is fill some poorly filled nail holes. Uh, you can kind of see it here on the trim that uh, they've just been, uh, they didn't use enough putty or didn't sand them properly, but I'm just gonna clean those up with some sandpaper and then re-putty them. Um, and that'll just, uh, you may have to do this as well. And you know, even if you have like nail holes, a lot of times they've been missed. So you just wanna fill those. You might also have some nails that you need to hit in with a nail punch. Now would be the time to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up these a little bit. Just make sure you put enough material in the hole so you have something to sand. Once you're done sanding, you want that to be even Stevens when you're, when you're done. All right, so all this wood putty is dry. Now we're gonna sand it. You just wanna make sure that you get it even with the wood of the frame here. You can also look for any other spots that you think are a little rough uh, that you may have missed when you were doing the initial wood puttying. All right, it's all sanded looking good. Now it's time to, uh, we're gonna grab our vacuum and vacuum that up and then we'll be able to do our first coat. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our first coat on the door frame. I'm gonna pick a fairly easy pattern to do and I'm just gonna go from left to right. I'm gonna start up top here. I'm gonna do this outside piece, open the door and then do the inside. And this is that duration semi-gloss that we mentioned in the supply portion of this. And I'm using a, a two and a half inch sashed Corona Cortez brush, which is consistently my favorite. And we are, we are gonna be painting these walls. So uh, that's why I'm getting trim paint on the walls because we are gonna be uh, painting these walls. And I'll also be doing the inside of the frame because uh, we're gonna be painting this closet as well. So it's okay to get, run a little bit of extra trim paint on the walls. That way you have something to uh, cut into with the wall paint. Also, if you're not comfortable painting that close to these hinges on the outside, like I'm doing, you can also run a piece of tape like right here. Um, and that might make you feel a little more, more comfortable. When you're brushing this on, you just wanna make sure that this long piece looks like one long brush stroke. That's kind of what we're looking for when we're painting trim is you don't want a bunch of like real choppy strokes. That's why when I paint like this, I'm gonna go with the grain, which this, go, going with the grain would be this way. 
along this long piece and I want it to look like one long brush stroke. That's really the look that um, would be technically proficient in this, this case. And so one other thing too is that if you're not comfortable getting this close to the wood floor down here, that's just some dust from earlier, um, you can also run some tape along here. But I'm pretty comfortable getting that low, so. But, and I would use that, that same yellow frog tape or something that's got uh, like a low adhesion or like delicate tape so it won't strip the finish off the floor. And you just don't want to leave it on there too long. Same thing on the inside, you want this to look like one long brush stroke. And this looks just like the outside. And because we are gonna do the inside of this closet, I can get, I can run the trim paint onto the walls in here as well. Not a big deal. All right, just cause I'm already in here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this top piece. And then I'll, I'll work my way back outside the closet. And so with the grain on this top piece would be this way. So it should look like one long stroke that way. Now we're to the, the last little section here. A lot of times I like to run the outside edge first. It's touching the wall and then come in and kind of fill in uh, this part. Because if you do that after a lot of times it'll affect this line and I want this to be very smooth. So one thing, I just want to police this uh, right when I'm done the first coat is just see if there's any little drips because if you haven't taped out here like I, I didn't tape out at all, then you might have some little flex that came off of the brush. But super easy just to wipe those off while it's still wet uh, with a paper towel. Your finger works really good too. Um, and then it comes right up. So just want to kind of get to those early um, and just something good to do in between coats. So that is coat number one. We're going to give this a little while to dry and then we'll come back and do our second coat. And that'll be it. Coat number one is dry. So now we're just going to do coat numero dos. And uh, pretty much the same pattern as before. I'm looking for any kind of thing that I missed the first time, but this is looking pretty good so far, so this should go pretty quickly. Uh, and then we'll just be pulling tape and putting on the strike plate and we'll be done. All right, so the second coat is relatively dry and, uh, and now I'm just gonna put the strike plate back on that we removed earlier. Just kind of wedges in there. It's got two little screws. And these ones kind of go in on an angle. So I'm just gonna do the same holes that are in there before. All right, now we're just gonna pull tape on these hinges that we taped off. Just gonna pull that. Boom. Alrighty, we've got two coats on this whole door frame, inside and outside. We will be painting this closet. If you'd like to see the video of us painting this closet, I will link to it up here somewhere. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Amazing.